Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today going to be a continuation of our last video as regards laser panel welding. In this video, I'm going to show you a different type of pattern we can also create with this technique. We're going to go to our circle and So what you do, you click this, go to multiply, we activate our uh, rotate, make sure it is on distribute because we are going to distribute it all around like so, then just click and click, put the number which is going to be 8 plus the last one and then make sure you say rotate to part okay click this rotate to part then we go ahead go to the center and rotate just like so now as you can see there is a problem the the leaves are touching themselves so we just have to reduce the width a little bit and do the same thing okay now that's fine okay now that's fine so we create another shape again copying rotating one of these So now guys, this is the pattern we want to have. All we need to do is fill all these holes with a slab. So let's do the same thing here. As you can see, there's a problem going on here. It refused to take the shape of this. And I've tried a lot of things to get this particular shape. I really don't understand why it is not taking that shape. As you can see, it, 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 it's making a circle instead. As you can see. So I can't really figure out why it is creating that stuff so what i'm going to do is just copy this okay rotate it right and make and then rescale rescale it 
that's what I'm going to do. So I just delete and make a copy of it. Now this is fine. Let's see what we have. Okay. Yeah, this is just what I want and we are heading to what we want to achieve. Just take it off a little bit. Okay, and we are going to create this middle, which we are going to have uh, 15 thickness and minus 10, right? Just like we did before. Good. That then would we'll, we'll copy group all this, okay, so that you can easily pick them and multiply them like so. check out 3d now this is this is a lot but we are we are going to create those holes just like so so all you need to do is highlight everything all right so we are going to convert it to morph Okay, haven't converted to morph. Now we are going to combine it. That is, go to our Boolean operation and make it a union so that it will be one entity. Okay, because we need, this is too much for us to start creating the holes one by one. Okay, we right click, connect, solid operation. And this is going to be our, we we'll add it as the operator. Okay. This is going to be our operator. And we click this. This one right here, the middle. This is this right here as the target. Okay. So we choose our portion which is subtract and we say we click it and say execute okay so what we what we just did was trying to create a hole inside this one right here okay inside this one so if i press if i click this and make it invisible one of these layers like this to hide it so that's it right there we have successfully created the hole okay now the thing is that you you the thing is that those holes are present in in the 3d but not present in in our 2d okay now the only thing you can do so that it would it will work as an entity also is because we have to shift this and make it a panel for the railing so we have to convert this right to morph copy and convert to morph
go to uh, as you can see you can you can see the holes right there on 2d right now okay now the the next thing is to convert it to object okay just like we did the other time by creating a using our viewport rotating it Next thing is to convert to object, but it's quite heavy like this. So just convert it to object. Makes it lighter and, and flexible to work with. Panel. We just successfully created panel I just click and that's it right there so we can delete all this but it's going to make our, our work quite heavy we can delete it and go here and fix our railing our panel So this is what we have and I believe you, you love the outcome. So this is how to create one of these. So you don't have to start creating those holes one by one. This is second technique to create those holes using the solid operation to create these holes. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.